seven weeks. There was this uh, nationwide uh, survey of minor organisms, including corals and giant plants, and they were identified as locally extinct. So that triggered the effort in culturing giant plants to bring back their populations. The Bolinal Marine Lab um, began in the 1980s when um, Dr. Gomez, the founder of the Marine Science Institute, was sort of looking for an area to put the marine station. The hatchery facility, it's, it's actually a seawater, it's a running seawater facility where we uh, do our experiments. Um, it's where we take care of live um, organisms, um, which include corals, the giant clams, seaweed. Sea cucumbers also. In the hatchery, we, that's where we sort of um, grow organisms from the larval stage, so corals from, from larvae, clams, and so on. And um, we take care of them in the tank so that they're protected, they're fed, and then eventually we take them out back to the reef or to the farmers who will further grow them. Right now, we, we have more, more than 40 return for stocking sites. So we have different uh, partners, partner institutions where they help us restock plants to other sites. So what's interesting right now is we're seeing some sites where juvenile co uh, clams have been already produced by potentially from these uh, restock plants. First, I guess it's really, it's very well recognized. It's, it's very easy to, it's a, it's a charming sort of animal because people recognize it. So it's a nice sort of symbol for conservation. Um, it's also really important on the reefs. Um, it provides habitat for fish, for corals, and they are filter feeders. So they also sort of clean the water and recycle nutrients. So, just like corals, they're, they're um, part of the foundation of the reef. And so it's important, I guess, that they're, that they're there. We should not patronize uh, like uh, ornamentals made of black uh, shells. And, and other shells. And other shells. And then also most of the work that's um, allowed the, the giant clam project to become this big were old projects you know, that supported students and the research. Um, but what we really need is more sustained um, sort of support for this. I say it's not a it's not a small thing to be taking care of your clams. If they're in a clam, we need a lot of manpower and. So funding support to, to do that. So it's, it would be nice if people were, you know, if they were interested, people wanted to support this kind of effort. Yeah, so we do have a website. Um, they can look up the Marine Science Institute. Um, they can visit Bulinao if, if they're in the area.